It was a beautiful Wednesday morning, year 2010. Location, a huge MBH Hall of International Indian School of Japan. Event, table tennis team selections were going on. In between the huge giants was a small nine-year-old boy. That nine-year-old boy was playing a crucial match, the boy double of his height. The crowd was cheering from both of them, and the match was swinging between them. During a crucial point, there was a top spin. Then a chop, then again a chop. Then the nine-year-old boy got a chance and hit a smash. A loud cheering crowd suddenly stopped. There was spin drop silence in the hall. Can anyone guess what had happened? You won. The ball, the smash he hit, hit the eye of the coach. He lost the match and the selections in the school team. And that unfortunate nine-year-old boy was none other than truly. Respected Toastmasters, fellow youth leaders, and dear guests, good afternoon to one and all. Yes, it was a very bad day for me. I lost the match and the selections in the school team. I lost all hope of winning again and decided that I was going to give up on my passion of playing table tennis. Seeing my lost condition, my dad came to my rescue. He told me that win many winners have failed during the starting like Steve Jobs, J.K. Rawlings, Walt Disney, and Gerard Singh. Losing hope is dangerous. We can live weeks without food, days without water, a minute without oxygen, but not a moment without hope. He told me that winners translate dreams into reality, and quitters translate reality into dreams. He told me a story of an American who went to war as a captain, but returned as a paid soldier. After the war, he was a failure as a businessman. And then he turned to politics and was defeated in his first attempt. When I first heard the story of this man, I thought my dad is taking me through the list of born losers. And this man's picture was on the top of the list. But that is not where you or I will find this man's picture, youth leaders. Instead, his picture is on the $5 bill. Can anyone guess who this man is? Yes, this man is none other than Abraham Lincoln. He told me that Abraham Lincoln was not a loser. Instead, was a winner. Not because he was the President of the United States, but because he did not quit. He was a winner because he dared to dream. He was a winner because he kept coming back. After hearing the story of several leaders, I decided not to give up all my dream and passion of playing table tennis. I said to myself, and mark my words, that I should compete again next year and emerge as a winner. I started practicing table tennis with my dad, brother, and friends. But still, no result. I still kept losing. I tried to win, whether it was practice or a real game, but no result. I, my dad told me that Winning or losing doesn't matter. You just have to keep your focus on your dream and passion. I joined professional coaching and learned the key aspects of the game. After three to four weeks of practice, I started winning a few of my matches. And I practiced with my coach, friends, uh, during the late hours of the evening. My evening. After three to four months of practice, I started winning most of my matches. And the next year, May 2010, just two days before the selection, during one of my practice sessions with the coach, I twisted and sprained my leg. I could barely move it and felt as a quitter again. I thought that all the practice I've done will it go in vain, but my great efforts helped me to neglect my pain. And once again, I was there at the NKH Hall. I surprisingly won most of my matches and got selected in the school team. I went to Riyadh with my team and friends and brought belongings to my school. I, I experienced great joy and my feelings were as a winner. Yes, I was a winner. This is my story. And now I challenge all the youth leaders over here. Dare to dream. Do whatever you like to do, no matter if you're bad at it. That's what winners do. Winners finish what they start. 
Champions are not those who never fail, but those who never quit. So, do you want to be a winner? Yes. If yes, please stand up and take a pledge with me. We will not quit. No matter what the conditions are. No matter what the conditions are. We will get up, dress up, and never give up. Thank you, all of you.